Hey, welcome back. It's time to visit the, the gas station <clears throat> under under this very base, somewhere in Jalishun Cave. You might have noticed that there are no more lockers here. I decided to place them here. This is our storage room. It fits, it's near our power source, it's near our CMOTH. This room doesn't have any particular purpose here yet. Here we can build double alien mm, containment. That's why I placed the X here. And we can do the same thing on the other side. So, um, I have labeled the um, mm, storage lockers. Here we have some lead, lithium, copper and else. Also, you can see that, that I farmed some of these materials so that I don't waste any more of your time. Uh, here are the shallows materials, the crafted ones, quartz, titanium, um, the laboratory equipment and the seeds are here. And now I'm just gonna Deconstruct this radio and place it, let's say, here for now. This will be our communications tower. If the game allows me. Here we can play the transmissions and then sit here and relax while we, we listen to them. And since I farmed a bit more quartz too, I wanted to place some more windows while I can before we venture off also that place is quite deep we'll need to upgrade our CMOD alright some, uh, some more windows will go at the moon pool one more here. This is going to remain the way it is. I can't place any more in these two rooms. I think I can place... Oh. No more glass. Let's make this look like an actual base. Here and here. This looks way better now and the same thing on the other side. Much better. Now we can actually start to furnish this, these rooms, but we're gonna do that later. Or now, I wanna create a modification station because we need a Seamoth depth module. I'm not sure if it's created here or over there. Seamoth modules, glass, titanium ingot, okay. We actually need this. So, that titanium ingot. Two, three, four, seven, ten. So, I don't need a modification station. I actually have everything I need. Was that two glass or one glass? It was two glass. All right. Let's give in two glass pieces. All right. And now We can replace one of these, the death module. 
That will take us deep enough for the the gassy. Um, the gassy habitat. And let's see, we can create the modification station, but I don't know what were the materials needed. Computer chip, all right. Titanium diamond, lead. Lead. Diamond. And let's see about the, that chip. Copper wire, gold. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. And the table coral. And now, just a bit more titanium. I'm gonna place it here. Or perhaps here. Can relocate it later. All right. Wow, I can craft a thermal blade, why not? Just let's use some already used battery. This gives you an option to create food on the fly. You just need to cut a fish and it will be cooked right away. Let's test it. Yeah. Vital signs stabilizing. All right. Let's see what else can be improved upon. Captain. Ultra glide film fins. I need more silicon. All right. Ultra high capacity tank. I can build this. Yeah, I can. All right, that's gonna improve a few things. See more depth module. MK2, we don't need this right now, but we'll need it soon enough. Um, I would like these. I also need some... I also need some... Um, help for uh, the uh, fiber mesh. So, I'm gonna head over for more help and I'm gonna get as many as I can that free back is swimming dangerously low never seen anything quite like it might get stuck somewhere should have taken the sea moth Now the thing with this is that it deals too much damage when you take the samples, so if you are actually taking something of value, you need to be careful, maybe even use the regular knife, but the kelp is abundant here, so it's not a problem, <clears throat> sorry. Now, we'll be heading down there. Also, I could build a few beacons. Can never get enough of those. Let 
Well, we're we're already ten minutes in, and I haven't done nothing. Okay, lots of fiber mesh. Well, not lots actually, but I'll create a. We'll go here, create a trash can. If we have obtained it, perhaps here. Okay, looks nice. Now more silicon and I'll keep this seed for later now let's see what the ultra glide fins actually need titanium lithium wow it seems like we won't be getting those right now. But we're heading down there where there's lots of lithium, so... Now let's see about these calories. I'll soon be going to Aurora. I might as well eat this one. Vital signs stabilizing. But the water is a different story. Nah, I don't think I'll be... I'll survive long enough till we get our filtered water. <laughs> Lead. Was hoping for a silver, but oh well. Come here. You two. You three. Wow. Just wow. It disappeared. Soon we won't be having any more water problems both food and water Paper. Vital signs stabilizing. And now more water and more water and more. That's four till I've replenished the entire supply. It's so inefficient, but I could be creating bleached water. But it's too late now. Now, we're off. You know what I forgot. Beacons. Beacons, beacons, beacons.
Nah. Forgive me. Forgive me. We'll need that. Anyways. There it is. Let's go. I guess this is the closest entrance, but never mind. We'll get some seeds from down there. We'll get some eggs. without the upgrade most likely we wouldn't be able to go as far as needed wow the sand sharks really signal location uploaded to pda integrating new pda data integrating new pda data let's see what this is about Data downloads. Okay, we have the high security terminal. And we have seen this. The gas survivors of and this is the new User Paul Torgal requested cross-referencing of local environment scans with ideal habitat construction conditions displaying results. Large subterranean cavern with multiple entrances. Conditions support the unique microcosm of predatory life forms. Minor structure instability in cave walls. Extensive resource deposits. That's useful. Average environment safety rating C, optimal habitat site safety rating B, site 7 has been selected as the optimal habitat construction site for the following reasons. Close proximity to one of the cave entrances in case of emergency, medium distance from predatory organisms, stable foundations on which to build, ready access to materials. Yeah, this place is actually nice, but... They have abandoned it for some reason. I've already visited this wreck and found nothing special. So let's have fun with the snakes, the crab snakes. Not like that. I really didn't, didn't expect it to be right there. Wow. Or here. Let's see if we can scan you. Okay, I already have scanned it. And it attacked the sea moth. This is what... And now me! No, we haven't scanned it. Mm, this is what you need to be careful about. You don't want... your SEMA to be destroyed. And it nearly did. You! You can die. That's no problem. But the SEMA costs... And the upgrade costs... More. Let's see if there. Uh, there is a yeah, there is an egg. Is there one here? No. Hmm. 
The problem here is you can easily run into multiple snakes and it's pretty game over. The time in between their attacks is not as low as with some other organisms, so take two of these so that we can breed them. fun when they bite you. And I haven't scanned them. We'll scan them when we hatch them. I'm not sure if it's safe now. I don't want to die. Now where is that big ass seam? There it is. Now we need to check. Have I been here? Yes. I wanna scout around and see if there is any more. Um, structure remains. Not here. See, there's some high thermal activity. Rip that fish. Oh, there is something. If I haven't visited it before, I have. Wow, so many dead fish. created an ecological disaster. Now hopefully... There won't be many s snakes near the um, habitat. Because I do not want to leave my seamount unattended. Sometimes they spawn inside of these mushrooms and then it becomes... See? And then it becomes quite... The feat to accomplish this, but not this time. Let's get these seeds. Also get the mushroom seeds. Where is the Icarus? There it is. All right. Oh, I have some titanium inside. And now for the tricky part, but it's not tricky since we have the, um, wow, let's scan it, come back, if it bites me one more time I'll die. Jelly room. Okay. I mean, the gas seam. 
jelly roll. Okay. All right. Let's replenish the oxygen. Welcome aboard, Captain. You know you want. Now, all I need to do is watch for these. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, so this place is abandoned. I also recreated this base in the dunes. You can watch it among my other videos. New blueprint acquired. It looks much better when it's actually functional. Hopefully I won't die. The double bed. Data. I already have this, whatever it was. And that's about it. And there is one more thing to be had here. Here it is. Integrating new PDA data. And maybe some more blueprints around. Let's get out of here. And one more thing. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, so the Seamoth wasn't damaged. Daisy's rifle. Already have it. Moon pool. Long overdue. It really wants to get me. Maybe not me. So I already have the stasis rifle. I already have the modification station. I don't think what's it what's it offering me to scan? Oh this is another plant. Not that Alright. I needed lithium, right? Oh, and another data download. Integrating new PDA data. We'll listen to those later. Let's see. Oops, radiation. I forgot to bring my... Because the Aurora is right up there somewhere. Forgot to bring my radiation helmet. But actually you can accomplish this exploration without it, as you see. Got nearly enough lithium as I hoped. But there's some over there, I guess. If the ready. Oh no, this is magnetite.
that sound is perhaps even more troubling than the reaper. Sounds really scary. And they are, they are the lethal creatures. But I think I've gathered enough. Not the lithium, we'll be needing it more. Perhaps here. Yes, and here. No. about here let's bring a few oculus with us in the I I no inventory full you want to gather all the samples And when you do such thorough exploration and gather all materials, you can then say that you have actually um, experienced this game to a full. Now, all you need to do is find your way out of here. This is the other exit. Yeah. Let's label it. Jellyfish from cave. And let's head over to the homestead to create a what's it called the water filtering machine and to listen to the legacy data downloads. Not like that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Can actually damage a base like that. I'm not sure if you can with a C mod, but with a Cyclops, you for sure can. All right. Let's first unload everything. I mean, we can listen along the way. So, I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Learned that the hard way. 
but I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says, understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Nice. We learned something. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed. She dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals, but Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. I missed the Degasi voice log for uh, that has to be the one that you guys pointed out, so we'll listen to it later. Son, there is always a pecking order, and in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. Seek fluid intake. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! going all the same, and I have an idea you two are going to follow, but if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Hmm. She's... She's a badass. Now, um... These conniving corporate bourgeois, inbred, incompetent, self-absorbed jerks don't have a damn clue. The kid's not so bad. He's even useful. But I swear, everything that comes out of his father's idiot face is a narcissistic lie. He wants to stay in this cave? His problem. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Then you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. I'm going deeper. 
I'm gonna find what shot us down, and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. I started the prep work. The kids taught me how to make enameled glass. I've started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. Alright. Do we have a clue as to where... The second Degassi base is? I mean, I know where it is, but there should be a clue. Or perhaps not. Never mind, it's too early for that. Um, before I wrap this episode up, I need to create one more thing. Nope. I need to reinforce this base. More. Do I need the lithium? Take immediately. All right, I will. Soon enough. I haven't built the stairs here. No, I haven't. And I haven't built them over there, so I'll get more titanium. Might as well. Okay, this is ready for... For further... Expansion. Now I'll build one here. And of course, there's no point in placing windows here, because there is a... There is a column behind. Now, I can actually build a water supply, but I'll need to drink whatever's left of this. Vital signs stabilizing. Let's see. We need aerogel. I do have it. And a copper wire. This will need more aerogel soon. I might as well build the grow beds here. Farming alien plants is a proven survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw, Salad of live tree roaches and stank root. Good to know. That glitch. No, 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 need that one. Okay, they're gonna grow. Welcome aboard, Captain. And this one, along with the ruby, I'm gonna use to create aerogel. And now... Where is it? Copper wire. All right. 
this is ready. Hey, water supply. Problem solved forever. And bring one of these. And I might as well furnish the upper floor. I do not have any more quartz, right? Of course not. Then, never mind, I don't have enough. Quartz for the glass. All right. The next episode will continue searching for these um, beacons, and we'll venture off to Aurora eventually. So, if you like this episode, hit the like button down below. Stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.